Plenty's changed in the short space of 10 days since the first game. As far as Shrewsbury are concerned, John Askey gone. Can he coin an interim charge? A win in the Football League trophy and then in League One as they head into this one unbeaten in their last four. And they are certainly hoping there will be small headlines of a professional League One victory to keep the recent Shrewsbury momentum ticking over. Seb Stockbridge is the man in the middle. And Salford City dream of another memorable night in their recent history. And this is the team that will try and do it from the start. It shows just one change from the 4-0 victory in the National League over Aldershot at the weekend because Mark Shelton was injured in that game. Tom Walker came on and he starts in central midfield this evening alongside Danny Whitehead. The front two of Gaffney and Rooney, prolific, and Rooney in particular, grabbing all the headlines. Well, Shrewsbury name exactly the same team that got back to winning ways in League One with that victory against Rochdale at the weekend. They will continue with their diamond formation and then rely on the movement of Holloway and Ockenbere up front. Luke Waterfall is a recognisable name. He went all the way to the quarterfinals with Lincoln. See one or two balls going into the front two of Salford so far, just not quite managing to make the ball stick. And I said before the game, Sadler and Waterfall, they have to be on top game today, really, to try and keep those two quiet and trying to stop it at source with those wide areas as well. Shrewsbury on top at the moment. That's a useful ball, and Norbert. Is denied by Chris Neal. Shrewsbury's man of the moment, really. In the right place at the right time. Yeah, it can become so difficult to mark. You see him play on the right-hand side, just drifting in and picks up a really good little bit of space in the box there. It's a good pick out and it's a really smart save from Chris Neal down low to his left. And they still haven't got this clear, Shrewsbury. Whitehead. Good pressing from the League One team, and there might be a break on. Arkan Bere goes one way, here he is. Deflected, wonderful stop again from Neil, and then cleared by Toure. Another wonderful save from Chris Neil. Shrewsby showing what they can do on the counter at 3v3 here. Grant puts the ball out to Arkan Bere, just drives inside a wicked deflection, and he adjusts himself really well. He's ready to resume the cup tie after his team's corner, which is a deep one, and was attacked, and attacked brilliantly, and then turned in by Okanabere. And Shrewsbury have the lead. We'd have to say they deserved it. We saw the corner earlier, went out for a, a throw in the end, but this time he powers around the back waterfall, and there was Okanabere to tap it in, the right place at the right time. Doherty. Laurent. Oh, good effort. Well, Neil was beaten that time. And that was Sadler on Gaffney. Well, here we see we saw a similar shot earlier on from Loren, a similar position. Not as good as that one this time, though. And this one rattles the post this time. So he takes up some great positions and. It's very unlucky there, and see the collision there. I think it's an honest collision there. Torre. Cleverly done by Gaffney. Who got it back from Rooney. And that play from Walker. Scott Wiseman. Wiseman! former Scunthorpe man, dreaming of a reunion with his former club in round two with Salford's most promising effort of the evening. Yeah, much better. We talked about him being limited in terms of getting forward, but this is what he can do. Looks for the little give and go. Gets off Danny Lloyd there, and then he just drives forward and gets his shot away. Graham Alexander has seen enough. And a double change, Lois Maynard and Liam Hogan. 
Two very experienced players are going to come on. Meanwhile, that's aimed towards Doherty, cut out by Torre. Grant. Doherty. Good run. Excellent run. Oh, what a finish! Greg Doherty, the Scotsman, to double Shrewsbury's advantage on loan from Rangers with his fifth Shrewsbury goal on only his second ever appearance in the FA Cup. A tremendous solo effort. And the League One club have a two goal cushion. Oh, it's a wonderful individual goal. I see him pulling wide here. When he picks the ball up here, you think he's just going to touch it and cross it. You don't think he's going to go on and score from there. Gets past Torre and the angle looks against him, doesn't it? And you think he's looking for the pullback, looking for the strikers in there, but no. Puts it high above Chris Neal. Tremendous goal, what a finish from him. Just as Salford about to make the changes and certainly looks impossible to score from there. And that's the, the second goal. He'd have to say he's been coming. Torre. That's a good ball. And there's hope. It's him again. Adam Rooney. Goal number 17 of the season. Salford are back in it. With 13 minutes to go. Well, they never looked like scoring so far this evening, but it's a nice ball in. Just looks like he's just onside there, Rooney. Gets up really well and just loops it over Steve Arnold. Trademark goal for him. Gets them back in the game out of nowhere. As I said earlier on, it's all for the start, a lot of character and resilience over the course of this season and find themselves back in this game. Set 13 minutes to play. Just as he did ten days ago, Rooney scores against Shrewsbury. Liam Hogan. Tremendous jump from Waterfall. Walker, you sense, was looking for that. Yeah, you could see the bench up. They were all appe appealing for the penalty, but left themselves open once again here, Salford. Here's Laurent on the charge. No way through for Okanabere, and cleared by Pierre Gianni. You can see the left of three up now, trying to occupy that back four. It's only given them more of a platform to play. An extra target there, an extra target to hit from wide areas. And... We'll see it once again here. Walker just gets across here, and I think he goes. Could easily have been given, I think, Doherty a little bit late, and puts his foot in across him. Seen him given, but referee was in a good position once again. Manuel Stroh. Oh, Laurent has picked Pond's pocket. Can he seal it once and for all? Laurent, he can't. Neil, and then followed in. Ocon Ebere makes sure once and for all of Shrewsbury's place in round two. His second of the night, his team's third, and it will be Shrewsbury to go on and play Scunthorpe in the second round. Well, sloppy play, just picks the pocket of Nathan Pond, he should know better, really, a man of his experience, and just picks up the, the loose pass there, doesn't he? Lauren does really well, you think he's just going to finish it off there. Just cuts inside, Hogan comes across, and goalkeeper does really well, makes another good save, but there was... That man, I couldn't bear it. Some good saves today, Chris Neal. It's really calm, is he? Just picks his spot here. Puts the game to bed, puts Shrewsbury into round two. At home to Salford, that was the last game in John Askey's tenure. Since then, played three, won three. Yeah, they're certainly in form, aren't they? It's a difficult start to the season for them. They're certainly... We're looking to get that new manager in as soon as possible and continue this good vein of form. Oh, that was a chance for 3-2 from Wiseman. Have to dust themselves down, try and maintain their league form. 
It is Shrewsbury who go on in the FA Cup to play Scunthorpe in round two. Two goals from Okanabire and one from Doherty in the end to end Salford's 19-game unbeaten run and end their FA Cup run as well.